We're back, man. Episode 13. No, this will be episode 14. The Wolf of Charles Street Podcast, man. We back, man. Hey, listen. Hey, listen. Um, I just want to start off with a little um it's a little encouragement, yeah, man. For those entrepreneurs out there, those business owners, those trailblazers, people that's just doing something different than the norm, different than the program, you feel me? I want to give um, a little advice because, you know, like, like I was going through my contact list, I mean, just looking at I mean, my friends and just associates, and, and I was just looking like, man, I ain't, I ain't even got nobody I really, I mean, build nothing with. And if, and if I do, like, they not showing it, like, they not reaching out, you feel me? Because, you know, the stuff I do is public. Y'all see, I mean, I got a public platform, so... People know what I'm doing, see what I'm doing as far as this. But it's like, you feel me? Like, can't really, I mean, it's not that I can't. It's just that, I don't know, like, I mean, like, I don't know. It got to be a certain hunger. It got to be a certain drive that I need around me. And, you know, I could always build with somebody that's like-minded like me. But it was kind of disheartening a little bit because everybody know, you know, the to get somewhere faster sometimes, you you know, well, most of the time you need a good team. You feel me? You need, I mean, so sometimes not having a team, it could be a little disheartening for those that's trying to build something and get something done. But I want to encourage you to just keep going and just be consistent because it's going to be results. It might not be instant results, but it's going to be results if you just stay consistent. And you know, the people that are supposed to be around you, they're going to come They're gonna come in your life, man. man. They're going to come around. They're all going to get stuff done. So just a little um, encouragement to those out here that's really trailblazing, you feel me, and going against the norm and just doing them, you feel me, and building something. You know, just building something, man. Cause that's what we need. That's what we need. We need more builders, more creators. It's a whole bunch of followers out here, man. It's a lot of followers, a lot of copycats, and man, and that's not that's not gonna. You got, I mean, you gotta push the world forward. You feel me? If you following the trend of something that's been, I mean, that's going on now or in the past or whatever, like that's not pushing. The culture for it, that's not pushing humanity forward. You feel me? You got, yeah, man. You got, you got to really create something, create something that ain't never been created before. And and the fact that we are all individuals, that mean that really, like, we all have an individual special thing that we could offer to to mankind. You feel me? So it's just about the ingenuity, man. You gotta. Turn yourself up, but y'all gotta get out of that trying to fit in and trying to be like this person or be like that person. Y'all gotta get out of that because all you're doing is killing, killing your own spirit inside. Cause your spirit is you, your spirit is unique. Your spirit is like no other person. So you gotta really tap into yourself. But for those that's really tapped in and, and building and or or wanna take that leap towards the building and stuff, you feel me? Like just keep going, man. You know, depression is real. The things that's around us, that's going around is real. It's really happening, but at the end of the day, things don't have to be like this. And it just goes back to like, why I even decided to get in the media realm? Even starting from music, I just wanted to tell my story. You feel me? I wanted to, yeah, man put my my narrative out there my agenda but just in media alone like for example we got all these gun laws and you know all these things this thing that's happening but it's just crazy how you just notice that when these issues come up it's like a it's just it's just be like a a boom of school shootings and this shooting and that shooting and then the politics will come around it but the crazy thing, like, you know, it's shootings in the hood every day. It's shootings in the, in the major cities every day. And you feel me? So you got you just got to pay attention to the agenda. You got to pay attention to what's going on. You can't really let your emotions cloud your judgment because these things can get you emotionally charged. 
when you hear about kids getting killed in in school and you get you know you feel it in your heart and you get emotionally charged and that's really when you kind of lose you kind of really lose that that control over yourself and that um you know just moving with a purpose because you now you just emotionally charge and moving off of feelings and stuff like that so you gotta be careful with the media and things like that because emotions is what they use as long as they could tap into your feelings and your emotions your heart they're gonna use it and then they're going amen for example if a white person walk up to you and call you a nigga to your face like how would you feel as a as a a black brown or whatever you want to consider yourself as a as, as that like what would like how would you feel like most people because of the emotions in it they they snap out you feel me they snap out but y'all gotta separate those emotions matter of fact you want, I'm gonna give y'all a quick little history lesson right quick. So we talking about the word nigga, right? Do you know that the word nigga is derived from the word niggard, N-I-G-G-A-R-D? Just look it up, you feel me? The definition of niggard is a stingy or ungenerous person. So here's the history lesson. And mind you, this is the this is old English. This is English words. So, when 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 these foreigners came over, you feel me? They came over and they landed on you know our ancestors' land. You feel me? The natives and all that. You feel me? They was trying to take. You know, they wanted this. They wanted that. You feel me? So when our people would be like. No, you feel me? Like, no, you can't have this. They'll call him a niggard. <laughs> you feel me? Like, you stingy. Like, you don't want to give us nothing. You feel me? So it evolved into nigger. You feel me? But that's where it came from. So y'all got to understand, like, when somebody, they usually wear a nigga, you just basically saying, that, damn, you stingy. Damn, they, damn, you like that? So they wanted, you know, they came over here. They wanted to just do this, do that. But you know how people weren't going for it. So they called it, called our people stingy. You feel me? And this, that, and the third. And eventually, yeah, they, yeah, man, it, it, America is what it is now. And it's, you know, it's taken over. But be stingy. You feel me? Be a nigga. You feel me? Like, yeah, hold down your own. Just don't be giving your stuff away. Like, we give away our culture. We give away everything for free, man. We live in here in poverty, you feel me? And, and, and everybody just making money all around us, you feel me? And we just giving away everything, giving away our music, giving away our soul, giving away our land, giving away everything for free, man. So somebody call you a nigga? Like, yeah, I'm a nigga. <laughs> yeah, you can't have this, you feel me? This is mine. So, man, that's just, yeah, man, brief history lesson, man. Take them emotions out of uh, stuff and really, really learn what's going on, man. And then you can make more accurate decisions, you feel me, in life, you feel me. You can make, you can make good decisions that's going, that's going to benefit you, your family, and the future. So just, yeah, man, don't, don't get caught up in your emotions. Be all emotionally charged over things and stuff like that. Because the media will use that. And then they'll have you out here protesting and marching and fighting and doing all this. You feel me? While the, the true agenda is being, you know, executed. So, yeah, man. So, like, the culture, man. You know, the culture is really... It's a really, really, really crazy situation right now. The culture is, you feel me? But look, um, y'all, y'all know it's summertime. A lot of events going on. A lot of things coming up. You feel me? Been busy, you know, building a network. And like I said, man, once again, it's really, it's really just me, man. Like shooting, editing, producing, promoting. You feel me? I don't ask nobody to 
promote my shit. You feel me? I don't ask nobody. I mean, they got companies and stuff. You could just pay to do that. But I don't ask the people around me that see me working that know I'm working. I don't ask them to promote my shit. Because why would I? Why do I have to do that? Motherfuckers should want to see me win. They should want to see me have the biggest network ever. You feel me? And I, I'm just talking. I mean, I'm just talking about the reality of things, man. Like the reality of things is like, look at all these other brands and stuff y'all push every day. Your car that you driving, yeah, you like your car. You like that, but it's a brand. So every time you driving and then you posting it, you doing this and you you promoting a brand. You feel me? Look at the clothes you wear. It got to be this. It got to be that. You promoting everybody brand, man. Y'all just promoting. Y'all walking billboards. And nobody asks y'all to do that. Nobody asks you to go out there and buy Balenciaga. Nobody asks you out there. You know I mean? But y'all promoting it. You feel me? So it's like. Motherfucking Tommy Hilfiger told niggas back in the day, man, stop wearing my shit, man. I don't care, y'all niggas wearing my shit. I don't need y'all. I ain't gonna cap. I, I, I still rock Tommy, you feel me? So y'all gotta see the mental. You gotta check yourself, you feel me? And that's something that I do on a regular, you feel me? I just had to check myself. Like, damn, you feel me? So be a nigga. Be stingy. Y'all motherfuckers just giving away everything, but y'all ain't giving it back to yourselves. Y'all ain't giving it to y'all people. Y'all ain't giving it to y'all community. You feel me? There's only a small, small amount of people that you know that's consistently doing stuff for the community, for the people, for the culture. You feel me? So I'm just saying, man, listen, man. I'm going to just say this. When it comes to my business and, this, and stuff like that, like, like people that know me and people that don't know me, like, don't ask about my business, you feel me? If you ain't down to help to promote, at least give a view or a like or a share. Don't ask me about what I'm doing, you feel me? Because at the end of the day, I don't know what y'all think this is. Y'all think I'm doing this shit for shits and giggles and fun and shit. Like, nah, man, like, this is a billion dollar culture. This is a billion dollar the the realm that I'm in, the whole entertainment thing, you feel me? It's a billion dollar company, man. Billion dollar business. So I'm building a billion dollar, trillion dollar company. So you got, yeah, man, y'all, you could either be a part of billions and trillions or you could just keep sitting on the sideline watching, you feel me? And just, yeah, man, stay in poverty. Stay, stay, yeah, man. Listen, man, I'm, I'm here to offer opportunities. And I'm going to give y'all a reason. Like, I started my own podcast. Cause, like, I like producing. I like being behind the scenes. Like, I could get 20, 30, 50, 100 more things done behind the scene. But if I got to be the star and the producer, like, that's a lot of work. You feel me? Like, so basically, I was just in a spot where... My timeline, you know, it doesn't really take me long to get things done. It's just about having the right, you know, the right everything, the right formula. So when I'm trying to build a network and work with people and this, that, and the third, you feel me? Y'all got to be on what I'm on, you feel me? I can't, you can't expect me to be on what you want. You expect me to be, oh, yo, you coming to work today? You doing this today? You got content? You promoting today? You doing that? You know? I, I, I shouldn't have to be doing that, you feel me? Like, what's the point of you coming over here? So I was kind of like put in a position to just, you know what I mean, push my own shit. And that's what I've been doing, you know, and I'm going to keep doing it. So once again, this is for all the entrepreneurs out there, people out there that's doing y'all thing, man. Like, yo, believe in yourself. Trust your process because your process is different than anybody else's process. So trust yourself and just keep going, man. And I know sometimes, sometimes you don't even know where you're going sometimes, you feel me? But just keep pushing, man, because the future is what you make it, you know what I mean? If you sit 
on the couch every day, eat a whole bunch of junk food, this, that, and third don't work out. What you think your future going to look like? You created that from the day you decided this, I ain't doing shit. I'm just going to eat unhealthy. I'm going to sit, watch TV, and just cool it. Once you decide to do that, you created your future. You created an unhealthy future for you. So y'all got to understand, we created our own future. If we leave stuff in other people's hands, they're going to create the future for us. They're going to have you working at Amazon and, and all that shit. You feel me? For, for, for the rest of your life, Walmart and shit like that. They're going to have you doing that because they're going to say, well, you know, he ain't do nothing for his own future. So we'll use you for our future. You feel me? So come on, man. Y'all got wising up, man. Yeah, man, y'all got to be wolves out here, man. The wolf of Charles Street, man. So, you know, that's why I do what I do. But we going to turn up, man. We going to keep turning up. Hey, look, I wanted to do a... Um, I wanted to do a, a a movie scene preview today. You know, you know how I do the uh, the reviews. And all, all and all my listeners, you you feel me? All, all everybody that's streaming on the podcast networks, you know the apples, the Spotify's, and all that. You feel me? I appreciate y'all. I'm getting better and better with this. You feel me? Just just balancing the audio and the visual. But um, since we was talking about gun violence, like I done seen a lot of people transform. I call them transformers. <laughs> I see a lot. Once they get that pistol, that gun in their hand, they transform. You feel me? They're a whole nother person. They a beast now. They this, they that, you feel me? I, man, I done seen it plenty of times. So y'all gotta understand, you feel me, the power of these weapons. And why, and then you gotta look at why the government spends so much money on the military. Y'all gotta pay attention to that. Family, it's the power of these weapons, you feel me, to take a life, to instill fear. So, what we're going to do is we're going to review a scene from the movie, the classic movie Juice. You feel me, with the late, great Tupac in there. You feel me, so, well, um, we're going to just jump right into the scene, peep it out. You mean no? I mean a gun. I mean, I'm holding on to this, so I say so. I'm not playing. Oh, really? Stop this shit, man! Stop it, 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 man! Y'all see how much money we got? What the fuck are you looking at? You're going crazy, B. You 
ever fucking call me crazy again, I'll blow your fucking brains out. You understand? I got it. Still, bring your ass here. Come on! Come on, man! Don't go fucking cracking up on me now! Transformers, man. <laughs> you family. Come on, still. <laughs> but yeah, man. This goes on. This goes on all the time. You feel me? And it 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 really goes down to the person, man. Because I'm gonna keep it real with you, like. It's probably more easier for me to get a gun than to get a job. You feel me? So, my, like, my whole ad, you feel me? Just guns was just, guns, every gun that I had, it just dropped in my lap, basically. You feel me? So, I never really went looking for a gun and tried it. Like, every gun I ever had, it just was, like, basically dropped in my lap type shit. So, I had, you know, I had, you know, you feel me? So, but... I didn't transform. You feel me? You understand what I'm trying to say? It's these certain people that I you know, they just ain't they not them, they not them niggas. You feel me? They just not them niggas. You feel me? They just not that person. So when they get a hand on a pistol or something, it's like now they feel like they that person. You feel me? Like, so you needed a gun. For you to be rah rah now, to be Mr. Tough Guy, this, that, and the third. You feel me? And nine times out of ten, as you see with uh, Bishop Pop, you feel me? Like, nigga got a gun and went crazy, you feel me? Shot the nigga in the store, killed the store nigga. He ain't even do shit. Nigga had his back turned, shot him in the head. Turn around, killed his his best friend. Turn around, shot his other best friend. Still, you feel me? I think still has survived. Yeah, still has survived. He'll turn around, try to kill him, yeah, man. Listen, it happens all the time, man. Most of these 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 shooting incidents, these murders, man, it come from. The person that is closer to, I mean, like people, the people that's killing each other, shooting each other, they know each other. Basically, you feel me? That's how simple it is. They know each other. And it's like, y'all, yo, if you need a gun to feel like you somebody, you are nobody. Nigga, the government. Got bombs and fucking missiles and shit, man. They'll drop on your motherfucking head. Take you out in your whole fucking city. Y'all niggas think because you got a low ass gun that you somebody, bro. Come on, man. Y'all got to realize and wise up, man. You think you turn around? You think you the shit in your hood? Because that's what it be. A nigga be the shit in his hood. Niggas be scared of him in his hood. Thinking he the man in his hood. I never knew one person... In my entire life that I can say, damn, this nigga run Baltimore City. The whole city. This nigga run Maryland State. The whole Maryland. This nigga run the East Coast. No. These niggas be the, sh the, the shit in they, they, little, they little group. They little clique. And they little hood, man. Until somebody with a bigger gun come around and knock them up. You feel me? Like, don't fall into the sight on that. You feel me? Like. It's a whole younger generation coming up and they thinking that that's it. You feel me? Everybody a driller. Everybody this. You feel me? You thinking that's it. Once again, man, motherfuckers is creating y'all futures for y'all. You feel me? Go ahead. Grab the gun. But your future is already mapped out. Now, if you go grab a camera... If you go grab a, a fucking stethoscope, <laughs> if you go grab a fucking pen and start writing a book, 
You don't know where that's going to take you. You don't know where that's, what, what your future going to be. It's up to you then, right then and there. It's up to you to innovate, to do that, to do this. But you, you grab that gun, we know your future, man. So, listen, man, we're going to wrap it up. You feel me? Hey, um, yo, the episode's about to turn up. I'm telling y'all, it's about to turn up. I took a little while off to really try, yeah, you know I man? To really get some, yeah, you know I man? Get some floor to myself, yeah, you know I man? And get this content to where it need to be at. So I got a lot of stuff lined up for y'all, you feel me? Yo, the Wolf of Charles Street, man. Episode 14, man. Signing out, man.